Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Don't cut that. It's game day and it is the clash of the Titans. Today, the Dingley Dingoes are playing Cheltenham. Two teams, both teams are eight wins and one loss. They beat us eight weeks ago at their home ground in round one. We haven't lost a game since. It is gonna be absolutely massive. Now they have six VFL listed players, all of whom are playing today. It's gonna to be tough. They probably have another six players who could play VFL. So they are a good side. Dingoes, we have heaps of our players out. All the boys are partying up in Europe. Shout out to you boys. I know you'll be watching this. I hope you're not drinking too many beers and you actually come back later on in this season and dominate. Now the goals for today are pretty big again. We have the first goal, which is to gain 750 meters. So like getting the ball forward long, running with the footy. Second goal is eight pressure acts. And the third goal is to win the game for my team. The quote of the day is today, I transcend into an animal. That is a theme. I have to carry us today. I know I have to carry us today because we have so many players out, but I know we can do it. I know Lambros can come to the party. Now, Steph already has cooked me up a huge feed. Let's cut to that. Welcome to Locks Brecky for the day. Today, we've got five whole eggs. We've got some fruit and some peanut butter as healthy fats. Also, added in some vitamins and minerals today. So, he's absolutely thriving on the footy field. If you want to thrive on the footy field like Lambros, I highly recommend avoiding sources of carbohydrates such as gluten and processed carbs. So, we're talking about bread, pasta, any processed carbohydrates before a game. Same as dairy as well. It's really inflammatory for your gut. So, you know, it's not going to be optimal prior to a game. Focus on whole foods such as fruit, maybe some potatoes or white rice, and you'll be absolutely thriving on the footy field. And most importantly, we love our salt, the Lambros. So we've got to get a good amount of salt on those eggies. That is going to give us plenty of electrolytes and no cramping. Let's go. Thank you so much for that feast, Steph. That is going to do me so well before the game. And I hope you guys are a little bit educated on what you should eat now on game day, as opposed to just really poor, dirty carbs, such as bread and cereal. Now, guys, I just want to take you outside for a second. Follow me. What a day to play footy. This is actually unbelievable, like right now. Like, sun's out beautiful weather, a little snowy as well. We're gonna take him on a walk because everyone isn't walking him at the moment. So he's just hanging out here and I know that he knows that we're gonna win. About three weeks ago, we took him to the vet. They said he needed to lose like a kilo or two. We weigh him again now. Well, he's been on a diet and he's put on another kilo. So he, you do the math. He's, he's supposed to be cutting and he's bulking, but he's just a superstar. So we'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty guys. It is currently 9.30 at the moment, and I've just been sitting out here for the last 20 minutes doing some meditation. Now, meditation is really important on game day. I used to absolutely hate it, and I was like, oh, I'm not a monk. Why would I meditate? Like, so random, but you guys just, just try it. Like, literally just try it for five minutes. I built up, like, I used to say I have OCD. Like, I can't sit still every moment. I'm moving about, like, I'm always shaking my legs and stuff. And you probably, the chances are you're probably the same, but I reckon it's probably just the social media side of things like TikTok and YouTube. Like our attention spans nowadays are so short that we actually really, really struggle to sit still. And if you can just slowly build that time up where you can just completely stay mindful, I reckon it completely transforms your mindset. And this can help with footy so much. Like on the footy field, I've noticed that my resilience towards like running and staying really consistent. Like my consistency this year has been the best by far. I think of averaging around 31, 32 disposals has been so much better because I am a lot more consistent and that's due to my brain. So just give it a go. Just try like even two to three minutes. You're probably going to be really bad at it, but it's all about just giving it a go and just try it and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Currently cooking up an absolute storm in the kitchen. You guys already know the chicken and rice. How good is that? Before a game of footy, about 200 grams of chicken. We got plain rice there, and that's when you have to prime to go. We've arrived at the ground. Mate, it is looking absolutely sublime. Look at this. How nice is the middle of the ground? Like a little bit muddy, but fucking perfect. We are on today. I'm here with Lock Coach in the 19s. Up and about, it is 9.30 in the morning. Game starts in half an hour. And I'm excited for today. There are my boys just warming up. We're keen. Cheltenham, they knocked us off in round one after the siren. So it's going to be on today, I reckon. The fruity socks are on today, lads. 
Dane Rampy, baby. Oh, let's go. The 19s are buzzing before the game. This is what they're listening to. Let's go! Yes! There was a couple of times where we got the ball out here and there is so much space on the fat side, but we're not holding that C shape. We're all too close together. I feel like there was a couple of stoppages around the ground, no diamond set up. Bev, responsibilities on you this corner. Make sure it's set up at every Bev. clearance. I don't want boys getting sucked in. We have to hold our shape. How many goals are you kicking in the twos today, big fella? Probably a couple of six, maybe, maybe seven. Seven? Yeah, that'd be nuts. <laughs> First game in the ones actual. Yep. Oh yeah. It should Tell be good. Oh, hopefully I get a kick. I haven't even been getting a kick in the two, so <laughs> we are home getting ready for the game and the haircut is in. Let me know what you guys think. Um yeah, no, just a fresh cut before every game. We love that. And as always guys, the fruity socks are on. Today we have gone with the egg and avocado socks. That is gonna make me play 20% better. We're creating a movement. Literally, so many of the boys are wearing fruity socks to the game. So I hope you're wearing fruity socks and uh, the fruitier, the better. Clock is ticking. We are getting to the biggest game of the season closer by the second. The Titans head to head, gonna go smack. Obviously, you guys already know the pre-game preparation, two hours before the game, get a banana. Really, really good carbs for you. Next thing, the bee juice. We know the bee juice is the most important thing. Now, I must say, I reckon I have lied to you guys. I say that I usually put two to three teaspoons, but it's probably like more four to five. And that's just because I've been tucking in at like halftime as well. Uh, when you are a little bit, you know, you are a little bit tired at halftime, you can just smash the bee juice as well. And as always, guys, you know, one of the most important things is bringing a diary to the game. I told you guys my goals before. One of those goals was to win the game. Just prepping myself now as well with Snow Bear. What are your thoughts on the game, Little Snow? I know that you've been a little bit of a hater lately. Nah, he reckons we're on today. I'm pretty sure he is more excited than the boys to go around today. Are you feeling pretty good? Yeah, you are. Go Lambos. Go Lambos. All right, guys, get this. The twos are short on numbers today, so the coach has decided to don the boots. It's actually Goldie's dad. He's donned the boots. Mate, what's your thoughts on your old man donning the boots at age 59 for the twos? I can't remember the last time I've seen him play. I remember when I was a little kid, but you might show me a thing or two how to get a touch. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to go in and film you guys and show you this. This is absolutely unreal. This is the man here, the silver fox. What a king. What an absolute king. When you put this chapter on, you don't just represent the path, okay? Not the ones, right? Not everyone else, but it's more important than that. It's 22 folks in the room with one goal in mind, okay? Then the season will come fast. These little moments, these little opportunities, they can come few and far between. Right now, the next month, we've got some fucking challenges. So when you put that jump on today, you fucking respect it. You respect the opportunity that you've got, each and every single one of you. It's one person here, how you doing today? Um, Joel, you're probably not the most ideal preparation for a senior game, but um, you only put your hand up and just go out there and have a laugh. Welcome back to another game day vlog. Unfortunately, Locke is living it up in Europe right now, in Italy and Greece, for the next three weeks. Probably eating homemade pasta, freshly brewed by Papa Joe right now. 
while I'm recording the voiceover for this game day vlog. But that's okay. I'm super keen to get stuck into it. Drop a comment down below if you think my commentary is better than Locke because I would love to see him read a comment in Italy right now while he's eating his pasta saying that I'm a better commentator than him. But here we go, stuck into the game day footage. We have got the clash of the Titans, Dingley versus Cheltenham. First versus second on the ladder. This was a massive game going into it and a lot of hype around it. We can see early on Cheltenham's pressure was relentless. As soon as Dingley got the footy, they closed down our space almost instantly. You can see here once again, Locke's working really hard back here though to help his defense. And that is so important as a winger. You want to work both ways. It makes yourself so hard to play against and your opposition player will find it difficult to stay up with you all game long if you just work up and down all day like a boundary umpire. We can see here Locke once again holding his shape at the contest really, really well. And he gets a good bone crunching tackle here on his old teammate, Ozzy Johnson. They used to play at school footy together in St. Bede's first 18 and actually won the only ever Herald Sun Shield for St. Bede's Mentone. So no love loss there between those boys. And I think Ozzy actually gives him one here after he kicks it off. He's a serious player as well, plays for VFL Richmond and also played really well in this particular day. I think Locke was winded a little bit there, but he's getting back to his feet as soon as possible. Dingley have actually got the wind here. You can see it's kind of swirling around and it's funny. Always at Souter Oval for some reason, it heads down that one way down the hill. For 10 years since we've been playing footy here, the wind's always going in that one direction. I actually don't know what it is about this ground, but it's always swirling in that one direction. So Tommy Mack driving it in long there for Dingley again. But Cheltenham, like I said, they're first in for the footy at this stage and we're finding it difficult. Locke holding his shape and width really well there again. And just has to force it down the line because they're closing up that space really quickly. And all day long, Cheltenham just zoned up so well. They made it so difficult for Dingley to get our transition play going. We'll just force down the line all day and they set up around the footy really, really well. So we can see here, Locke's flying up for the mark and gets a little bit of a block. I don't know if there was much in that, to be honest, but he got rewarded with the free kick and really drove his legs here. I think one of his goals was like 700 meters gain. So he was just driving it in along there, trying to give us an opportunity, but it didn't really fall our way. So the quarter time scores was Dingley one goal, two to Cheltenham, four goals against a win. So not an ideal start there by the boys. Second quarter is underway and Dingley is now kicking against the wind and three goals behind. So not the ideal start. We can see Locke going in for a tackle there. Unfortunately gave away the free kick for a high tackle. Mate, don't want to be given too many more of those away. I don't think there was much in it, but still a little bit sloppy. Once again, Locke holding that far wing shape really, really well here. He's trying to be that outlet kick and trying to actually get a bit of run going here. Trying to get a few cruiser handballs and generate a bit of run. We just find it difficult all day to get our game going due to Cheltenham's constant like pressure. As soon as we got it, there was no corralling. They were straight on our tail and they just zoned up so well. I could repeat it a hundred times, but they really did play a good brand of footy on this particular day. Locke's just getting one into the middle here and trying to take the game on. I believe he tries to take this bloke on in the tackle here. He was quite a good player, number seven for Chelt. But we do get it moving forward here. You can see once again, Locke getting back to help the back line here. It's such an important thing. I know we get a lot of comments on our videos about people asking what to do as a winger. And that is such an important thing is getting back to help your defense. To see here, Locke trying to generate some run again, getting that cruiser handball and really driving his legs long here. Against the wind, you really want to try to run with the footy as much as possible. That's how you're going to get the most meters gained and actually put some dangerous pressure on the opposition, particularly when you're going against the wind. You want to try to run with the footy, which is what Locke's really trying to implement here and try to get the boys going, get a bit of a spark in the team. So Charlton kick it out of bounds here. That wind is just honestly, I don't know what direction it's going in. It's swirling everywhere. Locke quickly trying to move it on to get some transition. Um, calls it back though. 
And once again, he's just forced down the line here. And Cheltenham's aerial dominance all day was just clearly a big thing. You can see here, I think they take another big intercept mark. So it was really difficult. I just wanted to quickly say as well, jump over to our Instagram and TikTok. Absolutely blowing up at the moment. We cannot appreciate your support enough. I would like to thank each and every one of you individually for getting around the videos. And we do provide a lot of educational content on TikTok and Instagram regarding footy. So jump over there, give us a follow. I'll put our accounts up in the screen now as well when I'm doing this edit. This is the last play, so half time, it's one goal, three, nine, Dingley, to eight goals, five, 53, Cheltenham. This is the new politics section on the Lambros vlogs. Dancer, would you rather no dick or no legs? It's a good question. I'm gonna go no legs. Peacock, star of the 19s here. I wouldn't call him a star, but he's all right. Um, if you were the coach in Steph Lambert's position, who would be the worst person to coach? Bevis. Justin Bevis. He doesn't fucking listen. People think he's good, but he actually sucks. So I don't know what the fucking coach is doing. Spindle's question of the day. Yep. If you could swap bodies with anyone in the team, who would it be and why? If I had to swap um, closets, it'd be with the boss. With who? what? Bodies. Body. Who would you swap a body? Oh, the sheriff. The sheriff. The sheriff. Sorry. Why would, you, why would you swap with the sheriff? Just a, he's tall, sexy man. He's handsome, handsome, drinks lots of apple juice. He with arguably best on, Owen Chug. Chuggy, how did you feel today playing against our arch rivals, Chow? Uh, it was a pretty, pretty shit result, but you know, I did fucking send him to the shops a few times. Um, how many touches do you think Lockie Lamble would get before the game going into today? Before the game? Before the game. What was your prediction? Uh, 67, I reckon. 67 touches. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon Locke finishes the game with 33. That's my prediction for the day. Cheers, Chuggy, for that. Go Lambros. I hope you enjoyed that little halftime segment there by my under-19s, boys. You can see now it's absolutely pelting down at the ground as well. The sun's out, but it's raining, so it's, it's a strange one. But Dingley's got the wind again, and we're currently around eight goals behind at halftime. So, very tough day at the office. So, I'm going to move on to actually some... More exciting things. The Lambros, we are currently on 972 subscribers on YouTube at the time of recording this. So by the time I post this video, we could be on a thousand, which is absolutely insane. Locke and I have been striving to hit that goal for a long time now. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for getting around us and supporting these videos. We absolutely love it. I'm gonna actually read out a few comments from the previous video. So we had one from Davo. I'll pop him up on the screen as well. Uh, he plays at St. Paul's Reserves. He's hoping to make a senior selection debut this year and play against Lambros. That's awesome, Davo. Keep working hard at training and listen to those more experienced boys at St. Paul's. They'll definitely help you get into the one. So keep working hard on the track. Locke would love to play against you later on in the year. And he's only 17. So if you can make your senior debut at 17, that is incredible. Another one from Archie. Love these videos, boys. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Archie. We love that support. Another one here from Make It Rain. Another banger as usual. It's been great to see you gaining traction on YouTube. It has been awesome, Make It Rain. It has been great getting some traction after working hard for a long time, but we really do appreciate your support. So thank you. Ash on 900 sub. Yes, let's go, Ash. We love that. Jake Townley, heard Matt Rao started off with grounding. Hope I see you eating the grass soon at Seattle, mate. I actually wouldn't be surprised. Locke does have some interesting theories and he did mention before the video he was doing grounding. So who knows, he could be eating grass next. And that is three quarter time. Dingley 2517 to Chelt 9862. Hey boys, bring me off the top. Hey boys, what are you doing? Hey boys, what are you doing? We, we spun the magnets today, okay? We've thrown some stuff around. Things haven't gone your way. It hasn't been on our chance. We are back into the last quarter footage. As I mentioned, Cheltenham are eight goals up at three quarter time. So very tough day at the office. The whole club had a difficult day from the 19s, 2s and 1s. All lost by, I think it was over like eight or 10 goals. There is a lot of boys away in Europe at the moment, similar to Locke. And also a lot of injuries and even a couple of suspensions at the club. So we're really under man at the moment, but that is no excuse. Cheltenham absolutely bullied, bullied us on this particular day and they were way too good. So you've got to give them credit where it's due, but we hope to meet them in September. And I'll tell you what, 
it will be a cracking game when we are a full strength side. I would like to read out one more comment from the YouTube as well, from the Edit Freak. He said, what is some advice for young midfielders? This is a common question we get. And personally, I used to be a midfielder. So the key advice I would give you is number one, try to get to as many contests as you possibly can. Work really hard to get to as many stoppages and that way you'll find the footy. The second one is focus on your pressure. Try to lay one to two tackles every single quarter. This will get your mindset in the game and you'll feel really present in the moment. And the third one is you play the way you train. So you want to train really hard and work on your skills. You're running at training. And if you work really hard, you're going to become a good midfielder on match day. So the game's almost wrapping up now. We can see Dingley is going against the wind and trying to run with the ball here in the last quarter. Locke is pushing back once again to help out the defense, but we are overall really struggling. The final stores for the day was Dingley, two goals, 5-17 to Cheltenham, 14 goals, 10-94. So a very comfortable win. And to finalize, Locke finished on 25 disposals, five marks, six inside 50s, and 77 super code. So not his best day at the office. It was tough out there, particularly against these boys. I think they had six VFL players, a really well-drilled side, but we'll be back to see them again in September. The Lambros have had a very tough day at the office. Steph, tell us what you think, mate. Yeah, well, first of all, the under-19s in the morning, it didn't go well. We lost by around 70 points, had a few boys out away and injuries, but no excuses today. Cheltenham were too good, so I've got to give them credit. And then seniors, what happened, like? Just got absolutely pants from the first bounce. Um, but, you know, can't win them all, really. Also, some massive news. Uh, one of the Lambros, AK me, is headed to Europe for the next four weeks. So I'm going to be living it up in Greece and Italy. So there won't be as many game day vlogs. However, we have some other very exciting content to come. Steph, do you want to quickly talk about this? We appreciate your support so much, everyone. So stay tuned for this content. If you're a footy lover, I guarantee you will enjoy this content. And I think at the moment we're on 860 subscribers. We've literally hit over 150,000 views, which is absolutely insane since we started this a couple months ago. Um, but by the time this video comes out, we could even be on 1,000 subs. If we are on 1,000 subs right now, that is amazing. But um, please uh, get over to our Instagram. We'll put it up here. And also our TikTok, we'll put it up there. Guys, it is literally popping off. Lambros is taking over. Thank you so much for watching. Take your performance to the next level, lambrosfit.com, to seriously transfer not only your body, but also your mindset and your life as a whole. Definitely check it out. It's well worth it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to dial in.